Hey guys, it's Zen here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be sharing and discussing the five brand new leaders revealed for set four Ultra Limit in Dragon Ball Super Fusion World card game. And I am beyond excited. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment down below your opinions on these leaders. And let's get started with the first leader, the most anticipated Goku, the red leader. This thing is absolutely insane. Just look at it. You uh, draw one card when attacking on the front side it's a 15k leader and it awakens at three life or less and honestly i feel like this card needs to awaken at two maybe even one life or less because once it's awakened it's a 20k leader nothing crazy however it does have the activate battle once per turn choose up to one battle card in the battle area and this card's original power becomes the same as that card's power for the battle do you know what that means that means either on your turn or your opponent's turn you could activate this ability and if your opponent's uh throwing down like three gigantic meteors buffing up their unit to like 150k all you have to do is use this ability and throw down an extra 5k it is absolutely insane i just want to talk to who's in charge of these red cards i literally just want to talk to them because this is this thing is man we just keep getting these ridiculous red leaders back to back but you know it is uh it's not fusion world it's uh it's goku's world let's be, let's be honest here <laughs> moving on this is a really really good leader i'd love to hear your guys' opinions but moving on to into the next leader and i think this one's uh, gonna make a lot of you guys happy we have sun gohan adolescence this is ultimate gohan if you will and it is a beautiful card and the effect is kind of pretty good too a standard awakening up front side nothing crazy but once it's awakened it's a 20k leader that draws when attacking and it has the activate main once per turn only on your turn it's not like the goku one so only during your main phase you can discard one card from your hand and then during this turn, the next time you use uh, an extra card with both Saiyan and Earthling, you know, something like Final Hope Slash, it's in its special traits, it's reduced by two. The cost is reduced by two, which is really good for that card that we know of. I don't know if there's any other cards, but I'm sure we're getting more support. Now, for those of you who are concerned about the discard one card from your hand, uh, this is a blue leader with Pilaf and Videl. Discarding cards from your hand mean nothing when you just can bring them right back. And honestly, this probably helps you get to a seven card hand to activate other card abilities that are potentially on the board. So as of right now, I think this is going to be an insanely good card. This it just helps with other cards we've already seen. So honestly, very excited to see what else, what other support blue is getting, because it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of all over the place right now. Moving on to one that I am super excited about, and that is Majin Buu Evil. The, you know, the, the Super Buu where he absorbs Go Tanks. The front side is a standard front side, awakens at four life, nothing too crazy there. And then when it awakens, it's a 20K leader that draws when attacking, but then also has the auto once per turn, which is a beautiful ability because that means on your opponent's turn or on your turn right now when your battle card with Majin or evil wizard in its special traits is KO'd switch this card or up to one of your energies to active mode now that's this just easily becomes something like yellow Vegeta which has already been dominant in set three that's a set two card but it's been really good in set three with all the extra supports because if you could restand an active energy during your opponent's turn you could use things like your extra cards right or if we get something like the blue Beerus that KOs one of our own battle cards then we could potentially KO one of our own battle cards and then restand our leader to get another draw and swing again. This thing, I'm so excited. You guys already know I'm a yellow, uh, yellow fan, a yellow like stand for all the yellow cards. I'm so excited for this leader. Now, one leader I'm not excited about, unfortunately, is the Saiyan Saga Vegeta. This thing, listen, I love Vegeta, my favorite character by far. Nothing beats Vegeta. Uh, and uh, this leader just feels so underwhelming, right? The front side, it is what it is. And then when it awakens, the art is amazing. 20k leader, draws when attacking, but then has the activate main once per turn, place one of your energies into the drop. And then if you have a four or less energies, you can play up to one Saiyan only battle card with the cost of three or less from your hand. Now, I don't know if this strategy is all about swarming your board, but 
from what I know and what all of you know, green is about ramping. So having an ability that actually counter like counters that is insane. Like, what do you mean you, you, you're you not trying to ramp as a green leader and you're losing energy to use this ability? I don't know. It feels kind of weird, but maybe if we see the cards, this I'll, I'll eat my words and we'll go a little bit backwards. Like, it'll actually be an insane leader. Um, moving on to a Vegeta. They did Vegeta a little bit right here with this baby Vegeta. It is our first black leader out of the like reveal of the black uh, archetype and sets and i'm honestly pretty excited for this the standard front side is a 15k swing uh, awakens at four the art's amazing but when it awakens it's a 20k leader that has the permanent ability you can also use rest mode battle cards with brainwashed or machine mutant in their special traits as combos now if you could still like attack with them that would have been busted but the thing is you can attack with cards and then use those cards that are rested as combos as long as they have brainwashed and machine mutant, which means your opponent has a crucial decision to make do we attack the super baby 2 or do we attack the rested cards because they can use that as combo and it, and it draws when attacking. This is honestly, uh, I'm so excited. I am beyond excited to see the new black cards, the archetype, the brainwash, the machine mutants, once it comes out for set four. I've never been this excited. I say this every set and you guys, I'm sure you could agree, but this set is definitely got me hyped. But yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you think of these leaders, who you're excited about, who you think is the biggest flop, and I will catch you guys in the next one. One. Later.